In this video, we are going to learn how do you identify the length of an array, right? How many elements are there inside an array? How do you find that out? We are going to learn in this video. Let's move on to our screen and let's get started. All right. So the very first step is to define the array. Okay. So let's define the array. So let's write echo echo off and then let's give some color to our command prompt to see the output in different colors all right now to define an array all i have to do i have to simply say set and then write any variable and then inside that put the index number starting from zero and then i'm give, going to give some value okay and let's repeat this some three to four times all right and here let's change the number to one and then two so how many total value what is the length of this array the length of this array is three right there are three different characters in this so how do i find it logically within the bash script that is something we have to learn okay now first of all we need to understand the behavior okay if i type a percentage a and then this is how you uh, you know uh, print a value of a variable the same way just you have to define the number okay if i do this let write a pause how how does this one work so this is going to show me the value zero because in the a zero we have zero so it's supposed to show me zero right what would happen if i am going to write so you can see the value has printed zero all right so this is fine now what would happen if i'm going to write something which is not there outside of the range of the array let's say i'm going to type five or let's say i'm going to type three three is also not there right we have not defined a three so when it is not there what would happen if i'm going to run this it is going to say echo is off that means that command could not run okay echo is off so that means it is not there it is outside uh, outside the boundary of the array correct uh, outside the boundary of the array all right so in such a case what you should do right how do i understand what is the length for that we will write a function okay write function to check length of an array okay so what kind of a function we have to write let's see that first of all let's give some name to the function let's say i'm going to say length array or simply say uh, length okay let's keep it as length okay this is the function just put a colon mark and then type write whatever name you would like to write so once this is done then I have to write the actual logic. So I'll be using something called if defined. If defined means whether this array is defined. So our array is defined until 0 till 2, right? So here what I'm going to use, I am going to use something like this. If defined a and then square bracket inside that I will say x percentage this one. Okay. So what is this x? We will create at one more variable called set x is equals to zero so this is just a variable okay it's just a variable we am, i'm just using x is equal to zero so what would happen it will first check a a and look at it a and the x value is zero it will say a zero a zero is there right we have a zero so it is it is not going to throw an error then it will come inside the if block okay so i'm defining an if block okay and here once it comes inside this if it is there it will come otherwise it will not come it will not come inside this block if block okay within the parenthesis it will not going to come only if it is there it will it is going to come if defined that is the meaning of define so what i am going to do here i am going to set uh, this x variable right uh, uh, this x variable that we have i will say x plus equals to 1 that means i am increasing the value of x okay you can say set a x is x plus equals to 1 means x is equal to x plus 1 that is the meaning x is equal to x plus 1 it is we are just increasing in increasing the value of x by 1 that is the meaning all right so it will continue now the second time when it runs so the x value was 0 then it will become 1 so a1 is there correct now once again it will come inside the loop now it is going to become 2 the x value will become 2 so 2 is also there now third time when it runs a3 is not there that means the line number 13 is not going to execute it will directly come to the next it will come out of the block okay it will come out of the block now for this to go continuously we have to write go to 
and then define how we have defined that go to length okay so you have defined with the colon mark right so same way we have to define go to length getting it all right so this is how is it's going to function and finally outside of this we are going to write echo the length of the array is and we can say percentage x percentage so let's see if it is functioning properly or not save it and let's run it okay so you can see it is saying the length of the array is 3 let's make a bit of changes let me copy it and let's say i'm going to mention uh, 3 here one more so how many total uh, what is the length it should be 4 now right so if i run the script again it should show me 4 this time getting it the length of the array is 4 so this is how this logic would work this can be still uh, defined as per our requirement so thank you guys for watching we are going to move on to our next topic